Cheers. Welcome aboard Falcor. I'm Leslie. And I'm Steven. We are a couple of adventure seekers from the mountains who traded it all in for a new life at sea. Together, we've mastered the art of tiny living in a camper, traveled to amazing places around the world, and now we've begun an endless saga of adventure and boat work aboard our 1981 CNC Landfall 38 Falcor. We invite you to tag along for the ride and support our journey by hitting the subscribe button and joining our Patreon community. on Falcor Sailing, you're in for a special treat. Tag along as we grab a mooring ball at the Lignum Vate Key Botanical State Park and enjoy a one-of-a-kind tour from Park Ranger Steve. In 1919, William Matheson, a wealthy Miami chemist, bought this tiny island and built a caretaker's home with a windmill for electricity and a cistern for rainwater. Today, his hideaway is the visitor center for this island forest. The Great Hurricane of 1935 badly damaged the coral rock house originally built. Hugh Matheson, who'd inherited the island after his father's passing, rebuilt the house with some modernizing, and he also introduced a wide variety of exotic plants and animals, including Mexican burros, Ancora goats, peacocks, and Galapagos tortoises. So behind you, we have concrete pad and concrete pillars. Originally, there was an 81-foot tower one of the original caretakers for that. There was a big windmill, a electric generator, and there was enough to power the electric lights at night inside the main house there. But uh, unfortunately, it was lost in 1950 to Hurricane Donna. Is that these cannons on the front lawn here? Yeah. Yeah, they were, they were uh, salvaged from the HMS Winchester, a British ship that uh, sank near uh, Cary's, Cary's Fort Reef in 1696. The uh, Winchester was on the ocean floor for 242 years until it was salvaged in 1938. And uh, the cannons were brought up to the island by Matheson to decorate the lawn. And then uh, in the late 80s, during some restoration, they actually found out that all these cannons were still loaded. That is the hurricane shelter. And let me tell you, those walls are a foot thick, solid concrete. After the uh, Labor Day hurricane of 35, it was the worst storm that these guys, the original settlers of this island, had ever seen. And after that, they built that shelter. This is uh, one of the highest points on the property here. It's one of the highest points in the Keys, 18 feet above sea level. So if you're going to ride out a hurricane, it's going to be here. Foot thick, concrete walls, Ooh. solid oak door, lizards. <laughs> you won't ride out a hurricane alone. One Yeti cooler. Nice. That's pretty cool. A stout little box. Mm. Yeah, this is actually a 1936 Dodge one and a half ton. Do so, you know that before you looked at the paper? Did I know it was a Dodge? Yeah. I knew it was a Dodge. How'd you know? It looks like a Dodge. See how rusty it is? That is one of several non-native plants on the island here. That's how I got it. Ah, it's David's fault. David Fairchild is a noted, noted botanist. He planted many non-natives on the, on, the, on the island. Why'd they plant the agave? For tequila? Well, yeah, obviously. For tequila. Delos would be chopping the sucker up and hauling it to the boat for some tequila. <laughs> Peruvian apple cactus. 
if I'm not mistaken. So would these are Peruvian apples? Yep, that would be a Peruvian pear apple. Apple pear. Yeah, those are definitely non-native. Non-native. It's the lignum vitae. This is the native uh, stuff. This is it. This is, this is what, this what it's all about. It's like baby leaves. Lignum Vate Key is a prominent island in the Upper Keys that never became a settlement. It eventually became a Florida State Park and is now accessible for tours. After learning all the history of this island, we took a stroll through the nature trail before hopping back in the dinghy and relaxing in paradise on our floating home. Thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of Falcor Sailing. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, share it with a friend, and hit the subscribe button to continue tagging along for the ride.